Hi, I'm Chuck, KK6USY. Welcome to Hamry Adventures. So I did that uh, fishing reel antenna and I got a lot of people asking me how I built it. So I figured why not, let's just, uh, let's do a video on how I actually got it to work. It's pretty easy. So let's go check out how I did it. All right, so here's the antenna. Um, first of all, I just added this uh, disconnection point here so I can disconnect the ground radio. Uh, mainly for the video, but actually it's, it's probably going to be a good thing anyhow. So I'll just disconnect that And we'll get rid of this So it's not in the way Let me just go through the parts here for you guys All right, so this this part right here is It's for a uh, tent pole like the, the pop-up pins. It just goes like this and then when you push it in it locks you pull it out and it unlocks you don't need that but uh i made it i used i had it for another project that i uh <laughs> pretty much abandoned and uh you could use just any kind of a stake or something inside this where i cut this off here inside the, the handle here okay and then i just this was an old fishing pole a fly rod so you can use any type of uh fishing pole you want to the fly rod works nice because it puts it up at the top which is the bottom on the fly rod, but uh, I'm gonna take it off here so we can get down to uh, all the parts. And I guess we're gonna, I'm gonna tear this thing apart so you guys can uh, see how I constructed it. It's not very hard and uh, I may change a few things later, but uh, for now it's working fine. So let me stop here and take it off. Okay, so here's the uh, antenna and the fishing reel all together here. Just kind of a quick look at it for you guys. And look at the wire coming out here. You can see right here, this just pulls out. And like I said in the video, it's got a little bit of tension to it because there's drag. And that's why, I, the reason I, I kept it totally stock as far as, you'll see how this comes together and how it hooks up, but I wanted that little drag on there. You can do it with a bolt too. So what I have here is the BNC kit. You get the center of one and the, and the uh, ground side. And like I said, here's the wire coming out with a little banana plug. I just basically have it uh, tie wrapped, you know, zip ties. Got two there. Got one that goes up and over and then another one here. You see the wire that comes through here, guys? Um, it was kind of tight. I didn't really have a good enough, a big enough little uh, half moon here for this. What I've done, the, and I'll show you in just a second here, is I've, I've redone this a little bit, and I, I may not be done with it yet, but I'm pretty close. Let me show you the, the new one and what I did. So, first of all, I took, I took this and made this a little bit bigger, which is probably big enough to get the with the heat shrink on, the wire was pretty good, but with the heat shrink on that I used, it made it just a little tighter. And this is all PETG. Yeah, this is a clear, what they call a clear fluorescent green. So this is what it looks like. Once you hook, once you hook the toroid, right, when you solder it here and solder it here, it's pretty good on this side. It just needs one over here, really. So I may add just a, a hole here where you could loop around the back, and that would be a, a more centered thing. So let's tear this thing apart. And, uh, which means I'm going to cut all these off if here. So I'm going to start cutting the zip ties off. Try not to cut the wrong wire. All right. And these were not, this is one of the harder parts, actually, just trying to get these things threaded through, right? Not, not difficult, but it, it was a little, took a little bit of time. And then I have this top one here. Could get it more uh, centered there. Hope you guys saw all that. So, and this is just some, I just put some hot glue on this to kind of, just for, for insulation on it. So this just sits on here and the, the fit is like perfect. You take a little reamer and ream it just a little bit and it's, it's pretty perfect fit. There's no play there at all. And the other one just sits right on top of it. Where it comes off of here, it goes and it's it's soldered to the wire that goes into here. Now this is just a short length. The screw makes the contact inside, and we'll show you that in a second here. Okay, so this uh, 
this thread here is left-handed threads. So to undo it, it would be like doing a, a regular one, but you go clockwise to unscrew instead of counter counterclockwise. And what I've done here also is another, this is actually this is the size that we sell with our kits for our antennas um, for this terminal. And it just goes in there and that makes your contact. So I'm gonna take all this apart. So down here, you see this little thing here, you pull it this way. When you do that, you can pull this apart. The screw here is attached to this shaft and that's what's making your connection. Okay, so this screw, like I said, right here, screws into the shaft, the shaft goes through and this locks down. So what I've done is I've got, I've got this ring terminal that fits perfectly over this shaft, okay? And it makes contact down in here also. So actually better contact than I was thinking it was making. And what ends up going is the shaft goes on here like this, and then it locks in with that little button that I showed you earlier. What I did, it's gonna be hard to see for you guys, but on this side, the side that this is on, I drilled a small hole right there for the wire to go through. I'm not gonna take all the wire off, but the wire goes in through there. And what happens is there's a, just enough tension on this thing here where it makes contact to the shaft, which is all attached to each other, okay? That's what makes your contact for the wire to the toroid. To, well, to the wire, to this bolt screw here, into the toroid. Pretty simple, guys. If you want to do this, I will put all the parts. I'm going to show you a couple more things here, too, but I will put uh, all the parts in the description. And you just need, and I don't know the sizes, I, th uh, I think it's a 3 8 maybe. But it, when it goes on there, you just slip it in there. Make, you just got to make sure it's on. And now that the wire's on here, you gotta make sure the wires. I did this without wire in it, guys. Um, but you gotta make sure the wires. There we go. So you press it down, and basically, I usually push that and then push it in tight. And that should lock it. And you should be locked in here now. See, it has a little bit of movement, but it's locked. That's pretty much it. And then all we have is a 9 to 1 here, guys. And I use the 9 to 1. Like I said, if you wanna do a infed half wave, you'll have to buy a bigger reel or find even thinner wire than this. I did buy some thin, really thin leader wire, but it wasn't even, when I did a conductive test, it wasn't even beeping my uh, multimeter. So I took that as it probably wasn't very good for this. I will link this little joint here if you guys are interested in this, because it does make it kind of nice. You can get it up in the air and it locks. And this is just a uh, fiberglass rod for electric fences. I've showed those to you guys before in other videos. You can get these at Tractor Supply. They're a couple bucks a piece. And then to, to fold it, you just pull it out like that and then bend it over. And that makes it fairly reasonable length, okay? All right, I'm gonna try and show you this, guys. I'm also gonna put a link, you guys do any, any antenna work, I'll put a link for these cutters. They're great for zip ties because they cut them off flush so, so there's nothing there to do later when you uh, are using your antennas and stuff actually got by with the bigger cutout on this, so it went in there fine. So that's just fine. It didn't have to, I probably just, I probably will redo this, this piece here, but differently than what I did before, all right? So what I've done so far is I put one, one zip tie to hold it here. You can see right there, okay? And then the same thing crosswise. And that just gets everything, it's actually, to tell you the truth, it's strong enough right there, but I'm gonna go ahead and put a couple more on, show you how I did this. So basically what I'll do is I'll take one of these zip ties, turn it the way it needs to go to, you know, hook up right, but I'll put a little bend in it like this, just so when I slip it through here, uh, let's see. When I slip it through here, then I can get it usually up and out the other side, all right? And then what I'll do is just feed this one through here, which is harder to do once you tie them down. See, and, and I did that because of the, it's easier to, for me to film this way, but when you do it, I would just put them all in and then tighten them down evenly. Only because it's, it is kind of hard to, there's not a lot of room here now, but it came up through, there we go. 
a little pair of uh, pliers or something might be good for that too. Now what I got to do is it's it's twisted, so you don't want it twisted. And it's hard to not put it in that way. Actually, all I have to do is just make sure that these clip in. And all I did was just pull them up to the top there, just as tight as I could, pretty much as tight as I can get it, and then just clip them off. Actually, I could push down there, and then I'll clip that off. So that's three of them on there. That's, I mean, that thing's not going anywhere. But you could put a fourth one in right here if you want to. Let's just go ahead and do that, and hopefully between the two, you guys can see what I'm doing. <laughs> it's kind of hard to show stuff on really small stuff like this. So I put my little bend in it so it makes it easier. And what I'm doing, I'm just going around. You guys can see this hole here in the in the thing, and I'm just going around it, and then trying to come out the other side. And there it came out. It's hard to keep it in the screen here, guys. Sorry, and work at the same time. Okay, so basically I've got this one out, and then all I have to do is just feed it up through this hole again. Like I said, it, it's hard. It's harder for me because I'm trying to film it for you guys. So. Sometimes, if you're careful, you can take these little cutters and not squeeze too hard and pull things through like that. There we go. So now, we can just feed this one in here. And like we did before, we're just going to tighten it down. That way we got, we got tie downs on all, all four corners. Alright guys, if you want to do this, if you have any problems, just contact me, but uh, it, it's really not that hard. The hardest part is just getting the right size terminals to fit these things, okay, to fit inside. So you want a nice tight fit in there. All right, and like I said, I'll put links to all the different things that I used here. I'll even put, I'll even put links to these, these little deals here, these uh, banana plugs. They're, they're not super hard, but they're not the easiest thing to do. And I would put make sure you put some, uh, I'll put some of this in there too. This is a heat shrink that has glue in it. And that helps strengthen that, that connection there, guys. And like you showed you before. And then, then <laughs> if you guys have any old bungee cord, like this is for like tent pole stuff, put something like this on it. And then when you wrap this around something, you can just flip that in there and it holds it. These are just cut offs from something else that I do. So just an idea. Makes a nice little wire holder or something, you know. You just need something. You could cut a little, um, oh, they make bongo ties, which is kind of where I, where I got this idea. And it's just basically, it's it's a, it's a, it looks like a T, but it looks like it has the top of the T on both ends. And all I do is they just, they flip through and they, see I'm putting this around my finger and I just pull this over the top of this. And now it's holding. All right. So that's something, something easy, quick and easy guys can make. All right. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. All right, guys, so you see it, it was pretty easy build, not super, super hard. And uh, hey, I hope you guys got something on the video. If you did like this video, please hit the like. And if you are new here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, hit the bell, hit all, that way you get all my future videos. And I ha if you like videos like this, I do a lot of videos like this. I do a lot of homemade stuff for antennas and all kinds of projects. So I'm Chuck, KK6USY. This is Ham Radio Ventures. Thank you for spending your time with me today. I know your time is valuable. 73 all, hope to catch you guys on the airwaves.